Brooklyn Park Police are on the lookout for a man with a dangerous criminal history who assaulted a mother and her child. Delane Cleveland joins us now with more. Delane? As Shannon, I'm on the 8200 block of Brunswick Avenue in Brooklyn Park. Police responded to a domestic incident at a home here Wednesday afternoon. When the officers arrived, a man broke through a window armed with a gun and fled from the home. He is still at large. One of the issues that we had is this incident occurred at 3 30 in the afternoon in a very busy area of town. And so there was a lot of people walking around and moving around. So that's what made it very difficult to both search by air and search um, on the ground with canines because of all the foot traffic from other people. Police identify the man as 33 year old Andrew Johnson, who has a history of weapons charges. Shortly after Johnson escaped from the home where the alleged assault occurred, police say he broke into a nearby home and confronted the homeowner. He then continued running from the area. Residential surveillance cameras captured Johnson removing his clothing. Police say Johnson coerced a resident in the area to transport him out of the neighborhood. Investigators say they're looking at places he frequented in the past, but they could still use the public's help. Meanwhile, Bruley expressed his frustration that Johnson was free in the first place. Unfortunately, this is just a trend that we're starting to see all too often, and then as people that are committing violent crimes and then are out on bail or out without bail, and again, victimizing our community, and it uh, becomes difficult um, to keep responding and explaining to our community members why we continue to respond and attempt to arrest the same suspects over and over. Officers say that Johnson is currently out on bail on a murder charge. So far, they've recovered his gun, but have not found him. Anyone with information is encouraged to call 911. Reporting in Brooklyn Park, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.